Well, good morning. I was just uh, taking our shot at this college today, and I was so electric a force, and uh, we got just south of the Selwood Bridge, and we heard this noise like a, a metal plate was being hit, and the vehicle suddenly stopped. Um, upon inspection, I opened the trunk up, there's steam coming out, or some kind of vapour, and uh, the thing is dead in the water. So, I've called for a, a tow truck, we'll be here soon, and Charlotte called for a taxi so she can get to school on time, so everything seems to be working alright. Now I'm just waiting for the tow truck to show up. Happy Friday everybody. The charger, there was like moisture all, like water or steam all around the charger. It's disappeared pretty quick. Uh, this is the batteries. And what I did see here, I can see a burn mark there on that metal, just above the terminal. And a burn mark here. How that happened, I don't know. And I don't know if it's old or new. But anyhow, I think the, the main fuse went out and I just got to locate where that is and get this thing run again. I'll deal with that once the tow truck gets me loaded up and back to the house. Alright, thanks for watching. So anyhow, I've opened up the hood here and trying to figure out why everything's just, there's no power whatsoever. How to get the vehicle toward home. Turns out that this connector here, it came undone. This connector here, how and why, I don't know. Must have been just jostling around, might have been like that for years. But anyhow, I put it back together, and when I turned the ignition on, guess what? Everything came back to life again. So it wasn't the big, expensive repair I was expecting. So I'm really pleased. Good job, Selectria. You didn't let us down. So what we found was there was also a bad battery that had blown a cell, so it was only putting out 10 volts. So I've replaced it with this one. I just took it for a test drive, seems to be working good. Um, really important is always tighten these nuts up. Uh, when I took the old battery off, one of the nuts was kind of loose, well it was loose. And that could have caused the problem too. Played into the uh, overload on the battery. Most electrical problems are caused by bad connections. So we've got two, four, five, six, seven, eight batteries in the back of this Selectria Force. I hope that helped you. So um, it was all caused by a bad battery <laughs> and a bad connection at the front. Now this car, this car has been really good the whole time we've had it. We've had about five or six years. Just one or two very slight problems. And you know what? If the worst that happens is you get a bad battery, great, that cost us, what, $60? $60 to replace a used battery? Oh well. And also, I made a little cover here for the, uh, where we plug into the power. It's only 120 volts, but when it's raining, I don't want that getting wet, so I took a funnel and modified it, and now we've got a little waterproof cover there for the plug. <laughs>